sorry if um, the camera moved a bit, but um, my battery died. It lasted all day. But I wanted to show you guys, since I went to the Boba Guys again, I got another strawberry matcha. But this time I didn't mix it before filming, because I feel like last time I think I mixed it before filming. So I wanted to show you guys up close the separation on here. Sorry about the reflection from the TV. But um, this is what it looks like, so I'm going to mix it. Ooh. I'm really excited. That, that Boba place was popping there was so many people a lot of business people around union square i could tell they were all wearing their suits and stuff but there was also a lot of teenagers what time is it don't they have school what's going on or maybe it's college kids oh no i think school might have just ended or something but yeah so mm. it's so good it tastes like strawberry ice cream y'all with a little bit of matcha uh, whoever thought about this genius genius but I'm just gonna chill in the hotel room, enjoy my last few hours here before the show. Cause you know, I feel like today was another day where I was just running around. I already knew that I was gonna do that, but I had a to-do list for myself for every day. And in general of what I wanted to do while I was in San Francisco. And honestly, I did literally everything on my list. I mean, obviously I still have the show to go to tonight, but I'm shook, I'm amazed. I'm very proud of myself. I didn't think I'd be able to do everything that I wanted to, but I did it and it's kind of amazing. It's kind of a really good feeling. I almost feel like I ran a marathon and I actually finished it. You know what I mean? So it feels good. So I'm just gonna chill here. I almost finished my boba and I just realized that I forgot to show you guys what I picked up when I went to Fisherman's Wharf. I did a little bit of shopping for some pasalubongs, um, which in English, what is it, what is it? Is it on here? Oh yeah, souvenirs. <laughs> Sorry, there's just certain words. I think I've mentioned this in a previous vlog before where I just I need to think about it to translate it back into English first because I grew up learning Tagalog and a bunch of different dialects that my parents speak and I just there's sometimes it's just hard for me to translate it right away like sipun like stuff like that. I only know like how to say it in English. Oh Phone hold on. Okay. Sorry about that guys. My sister called me. Is my camera crooked? I think it is it is crooked on the tripod. So my sister called me on FaceTime because Riku, it looks like and one of his teeth might be breaking through. So exciting stuff. But anyways, I got this stuff at um, only in San Francisco. It was at Pier 39. Um, I've got so many like things in here. Y'all already know I'm super sentimental when I travel. So I get maps everywhere that I go. I save my receipts. I just love keeping things like I'm going to keep the little bag from in and out because I got two bags so I was just like let me keep one but I like keeping everything when I go traveling because I put things in my scrapbooks in my traveler's notebook and all that stuff I'm excited to show you guys what I picked up at this place I also kept the little sleeve from the double double how cute is that look at it adorable I got two shot glasses if you guys don't already know I have a shot glass collection everywhere that I've ever been I buy a shot glass and my siblings also do the same for me. They buy me a shot glass everywhere that they go, or at least try to. So I have a whole huge shot glass collection. So this is the one that I picked up for myself. It was only $3.99. I thought it was pretty cool because it had the height Ashbury sign right there. And I wanted to remember that's where I got my tattoo. They have the painted ladies right there. And then the Golden Gate Bridge, of course, and then the city, and then a little cable car, and then there's the Fisherman's Wharf thing. I thought it was just pretty cool that it was just everything that I saw. So I thought it was pretty cute. It just says San Francisco City by the Bay. And then I got my brother one because he likes getting shot glasses as well as I do. It is so sick. It's, I love how sleek and it's just black and white. It says no good for nobody since 1934. It was also $3.99. I thought that was pretty reasonably priced. Sometimes you go to touristy areas and the shot glasses are like five bucks and I hate that, but honestly, because it's what I like to collect from places that I go, I have no choice but to pick it up. So I picked those up and then I got my sister and my mom matching shirts they were only five dollars so i was really happy about that but um they're just these plain blue and they say san francisco california they got the golden gate bridge i got them both the same one just because they didn't have a pink one i would have gotten my sister pink if they did and then i got my dad a hat because this is his thing 
Whenever we go traveling anywhere, we always get my dad a hat because he has just a hat collection. Is that a dad thing? I think it's a dad thing, but he loves the dad hat. This was 10 bucks, kind of pricey, but it's cute because if I want to borrow it, I like it. So I got it in a color that I felt was pretty neutral. So yeah, that's all the stuff that I picked up. I didn't really do any shopping. It's four o'clock now. So only like two more hours till I have to head over to the venue. I'm so excited. I wish I could film there, but most of these jazz places and like live performance places, they ask you not to film because, I mean, I don't know why. Honestly, I don't know why because it's like a performer. So why can't we record? When it comes to these jazz things, I feel like they do a lot of things like on the fly, like very impromptu. They just wing it, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, what if one night they play something sick and awesome and I never hear it ever again? I mean, I'm never gonna hear this guy ever again, but it's pretty cool that I get to see a saxophonist while I'm here. If you guys don't already know, I played alto sax when I was little in um, elementary school, high school, middle school and I still have my saxophone to this day and the alto sax is an instrument that oh, why am I still wearing this hat <laughs> the alto sax is an instrument to me that just holds a very 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 special place in my heart because it reminds me of my grandfather on my mom's side my Lolo Deo and um, he's just I feel like my biggest inspiration when it comes to music he I feel like has passed down his musical genes to pretty much our entire whole half of our family. It's like there's so many musically inclined people in my family and I do attest it all to him and I'm so thankful. I feel like the only reason that I am so into music is because it's in my blood. And he used to actually have his own swing band. If you don't know swing music, but it's it's really amazing. They were called Dio and the Right Swing Cats because where they're from is called Right Samar, which is a place in the Philippines. And it was just like amazing. They were so good and it's just, I wish that I had more time to have been able to learn from him, you know? He was in the Philippines for my entire life, even up until he passed. And he passed when I was still relatively young. I was in elementary school, so I never really got to have that much time with him, that much bonding time with him. I think I got to play the saxophone for him once and I would have loved to have played more for him because I think he would have been proud, like really proud. But yeah, the alto sax is one of the instruments that I play that I wish I had taken more seriously and just done more things with. I joined a jazz band when I was in high school and all that stuff, but it's just like I never thought I was that good so that's why I never really like went for it. But I do think that someday I'm gonna get like a little saxophone tattoo. I just feel like for me, it's a very significant part of my life and part of what makes me me. I'm so proud that I learned to play the saxophone for him. I do 100% believe that I love music because it's in my blood because of him. And so whenever I hear a saxophonist, I, I feel like my soul just feels good. I feel connected to him and it makes me so happy. Like, I'm just so happy. This guy, I think he's playing the tenor sax. I played the alto sax. So there is a sound difference there, but I don't really mind. Honestly, the tenor sax sounds amazing when it comes to jazz. So I'm so excited about that. I'm sorry I went on this whole tangent, but it's just like, I just love the saxophone. And the trumpet. Oh, the trumpet sounds so good in jazz. And the flute and the piano and the drums and pretty much everything. <laughs> But yeah, I think that's why there's just something about hearing jazzy music and instrumentals that just calms my soul and I feel like it's because it brings me closer to him and that's why I feel like safe. I feel calm. I feel almost like surrounded by it if that makes sense and I love that feeling but that's why I love music and only as of late have I been able to really go to shows and stuff and I feel like all my life I've wanted to be going to these things because I knew I was gonna love it but I never really found friends who enjoyed that kind of thing so now that I do have people in my life who do like going to these things I am loving it and it's just amazing and I don't know it's just it feels good being able to see and hear things that I've always wanted to and just sit there and just feel the music around you. I would really highly recommend going to live shows, like the low-key stuff. I'm not talking about like 
big huge performers those are awesome i love going to concerts like i've seen ed sheeran i've seen taylor swift it's so cool going to these things and experiencing things but there's something different about the low-key live shows where you're literally like a foot away from the instrumentalist you know what i mean but anyways that was just a tangent i don't know just only have like another two hours to go so i'll see you guys when i am getting ready to leave for real for real this time all right bye 30 minutes later but hey they came through very very nice of them the sweet little guy just dropped it off he was so sweet but um oh dang they gave me like two of everything but i just love their little how cute honestly okay guys so it is now six o'clock i'm gonna go head over to the black cat which is the venue for this um show the musician that i'm going to see his name is tim lynn by the way in case you guys are interested let's see what it says about him it says that he is Born and raised in the San Francisco Bay Area, Tim Lin is a Taiwanese American jazz talent whose progressive sound comes from his deep appreciation of the jazz tradition and it talks a little bit about his education music wise. So I'm really excited. It is called the Black Cat Jazz Club and it is um, at 400 Edie Eddy Street. So in case you guys are looking for some shows to see maybe if you are coming to san francisco i think it was like 20 dollars for the ticket it wasn't bad at all it's pretty average for a jazz show so anyways i'm gonna head over to the venue and i will see you guys once it's over i'm gonna leave my camera because i'm pretty sure i'm not gonna be able to film anyway so i'll see you guys once it's over see ya <laughs> It is Thursday morning. I'm now currently sitting at the airport. I was gonna film, like I said, when I came back from the show, but I ended up hanging out with some people that I met there, and we went to two different venues afterwards, and it was just like the longest, okay, hold on. <laughs> so it ended up being like the longest night ever. I got back to my hotel room super, super late. Then I had to get up super, super early, even though I was jet lagged, so I woke up anyways. But I woke up super early to pack because I still didn't pack, which is mind blowing for me because I'm such a planner. I'm just free flowing right now. It's weird. Maybe the West Coast is like rubbing off. But yeah, so I'm waiting for my flight. I'm gonna probably get some food in a bit because I'm starving. But yeah, so I had such a fun time at the show. The show was amazing. The saxophonist, super talented. Definitely go check him out if you guys like jazz or just like saxophonist in general. He's super talented. But yeah, he was like such a nice guy too. So yeah, definitely go check him out. So I'll see you guys once I like get food and stuff. So I got food from Bun Me. I got a bacon egg bun me, I think is what it's called, and sweet potato fries. This is what the fries look like. Looks so good. But this is the bun me. I think it said there's bacon, there's scrambled eggs, there's garlic mayo. There's a bunch of stuff. Hold on, I'm gonna look it up. So it is the bacon and egg bun me, caramelized thick cut hickory smoked bacon, scrambled eggs with green onions, garlic mayo, pickled carrots, and daikon, cucumber, and cilantro. So it sounds like it's gonna be good.
guys, so it's about 10.30 now. I've been home and settled in again, but um, I just wanted to end the vlog here because I'm home. <laughs> it feels like it's been a while, but there's a lot that I need to catch up on. So thank you guys so much for coming on this amazing birthday getaway with me. It was absolutely amazing and it was everything that I had asked for and wished for and more so yeah I'm just so glad that I got to share this experience with you guys and I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing the sights as well and seeing the food even though you guys didn't get to eat it yourselves but um, I'm gonna give you guys one last checkup on my tattoo progress so this is what the finger one looks like right now looks pretty good it doesn't hurt at all and I've been washing it with antibacterial soap and stuff throughout this whole experience so this one's looking good now let's check out the collarbone one real quick so here is the collarbone one after the uh what two days now it's a little red because i just took off the um clear um like second skin kind of thing so it looks really good it looks a little wrinkled that's from the tape right here yeah but um i just washed it and stuff so I will keep you guys updated on Instagram if I remember to, but yeah, so thank you guys again for coming with me on this amazing, epic 27th birthday little extravaganza. I really wish I could have brought you guys with me last night. If I had known that I could bring my camera and record, I mean, I don't, I don't know exactly if I could record. I recorded a little bit on my phone. I would have brought my camera and brought you guys along because it was such a fun, crazy night. It was like a movie. It was like a legitimate movie. And I guess it's kind of nice that I got to keep that to myself though. So I'm really happy that that all happened and I got to meet such amazing, amazing people. But yeah, so this whole experience this past week was amazing. The food was amazing. The air was amazing. The music was amazing. And I'm so glad that I got to share as much as I could with you guys. So thank you guys again for coming along with me. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!